Hey guys, welcome back to Kali J's Kitchen. In today's video, I'll take you guys in the kitchen with me and I'll show you how to prepare this awesome shrimp fried rice. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on your post notification bell so you guys can always be notified whenever I upload a new video. Go ahead and tell your friends, tell your family members about Kali J's Kitchen and have them subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, it's Kali Kitchen underscore one. And also on Facebook, it's Kali J's Kitchen. So I went in and added a, just a small amount of vegetable oil to my pot. And I also seasoned my shrimp already. I used the basic seasoning, some all-purpose seasoning, some black pepper and some paprika, right? All of these ingredients that I'm using today, you can get them at your local supermarket or grocery store. Guys, remember to be creative. Remember to be you in the kitchen and utilize whatever you have at home. All right, so basically we're going to cook the shrimp for roughly about um, four to five minutes, two and a half minutes on each side because as you guys know, shrimp doesn't take long to cook and we don't want to overcook our shrimp because we don't want it to be too rubbery, all right? I also went ahead and chopped up some carrots that I'm going to use in my fried rice and I also have some mixed vegetables, alright? I also went ahead and chopped up some bell peppers, some garlic and onion that I'm going to use in my fried rice and I'm using about two days old rice, alright? And I'm using brown rice just to be, just so you guys can know. So now that my shrimp, they're all cooked, I'm going to go ahead and remove them. Then I'm going to go in and add my bell peppers, my onion, and my garlic to the same pot that I'm going to cook my fried rice in. And listen guys, the flavor that is coming from this seasoning, mmm, smells so good. Give that a nice stir, then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in and add my carrots. And as I said earlier, I'm going to use some mixed vegetable as well. But I decided, listen, I have carrots at home. So I'm going to add some of these carrots also, all right? So I'm going to add the mixed vegetables, as I said earlier. And I want the carrot to, you know, cook a little. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to combine all of that goodness together before I add the rest of the ingredients and allow it to just cook for a little bit. Again, you don't want your vegetables to be too soft. You want them to be crunchy. All right. All right, guys. So this is it. As you can see, my vegetables looking all lovely and nice. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in and add my rice now. As I said earlier, I'm using brown rice, but you guys can always go ahead and use white rice if you have white rice at home, all right? But these days, I am just eating a little bit healthier, all right? Combine all of that together. Again, you want all of the ingredients to be evenly distributed, all right? So once everything is combined nicely, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in and add my soya sauce. With the soya sauce, guys, you can always add the amount that you want. It depends on the color that you want your rice to get, all right? So if you want to color, you the rice to get a darker color, you can always go in and add more soya sauce, all right? Or what you can do, do it like me. I try to add a small amount each time all right until i get that nice color that i'm looking for because i don't want my rice to be too dark all right i don't like it too dark so i think this color i don't like this color so i'm gonna add just a little bit more and step up that color all right combine everything together nicely again before you add the shrimp and the egg i also went ahead and scrambled two eggs and again i always try to remove the eye from the egg the eye is that white attachment to the yolk all right you can always go ahead and use a spoon to remove that all right sometimes i know it's a little bit hard but you guys just take your time so this color is perfect for me and be sure to get rid of any lumps in your rice, guys. Because you want all of that to have that nice color, alright? So this is it for me. 
so basically i'm gonna go in and add the rest of the ingredients now that my i i achieved that nice color so i'm gonna add the shrimp first and combine everything together because you know everybody wants a piece of the shrimp so we have to ensure that it is nicely combined and remember that the shrimp is already cooked so you can just turn on your stove on low heat all right because we don't want to overcook our shrimp again if you overcook your shrimp then it's going to be rubbery then i'm going to add the scrambled eggs and basically this is it once you add your eggs all you need to do just combine everything together again because you want everything to be evenly distributed and then you serve it up so in a few minutes i'm going to show you the final product of my shrimp fried rice stay tuned guys i can't wait to show you guys the final product all right So guys, this is the final product of my shrimp fried rice. As you can see, looking all lovely and delicious. So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. I hope you guys go ahead and try it out. Remember to turn on your post notification bell. Remember to subscribe to my channel. And guys, I have so many recipes. <laughs> and I'm just going to go ahead and just edit them and just upload them so you guys can get them. Alright? Thank you guys again. And see